welcome to BT Paradise. We've got the bow tie wearing sweet guy with a heart of gold, Blake. <laughs> he rolls with the cheese and still looking for his main squeeze, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing for this buffalo boy. Is he still ready to do the darn thing? Jason, don't eat the chicken wing. <laughs> These two lovebirds found their matching puzzle piece in paradise. Raven and Adam. And I'm your host, not Chris Harrison, <laughs> but the forever smiley Dina P. Welcome to Bachelors in BT Paradise. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back and good to see you all. It's been quite an exciting uh, year and we have to mention somebody who's missing from the couch but they will be part of the event tonight. Jordan has been making headlines. We celebrated his engagement a couple of nights ago and then the news broke out that perhaps right. the engagement well, is well, over. Uh, alleged texts like were so released. Shiny. So like have you weird. talked to him? Actually, he is still coming to the event so tonight, right? Yes. Yes, he'll be there tonight. He'll be there tonight. Yeah. Yeah. But is he just laying low for press right now, taking some time? I think he's taking some time for himself. I haven't personally talked to him yet, but I know he's excited to be here tonight in Toronto okay. at the Eligible yeah, Magazine nice Bachelor Party. So yeah, he'll, be, he'll be ready yeah. to go. And yeah. it, that's what helps, is being with friends, right? Yeah, to yeah, get absolutely. over yeah. the pain and the heartache. You broke my heart. Like, my gosh, you made it down to the altar. You had the ring burning yeah. in your pocket with Becca. What happened afterwards, and are you ready and looking for love right now? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely a healing process there, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good now. I'm ready to get back out there. Ready to get back on the horse. That's okay. what I'm going to say. Back on the horse. <laughs> I'm going to say this. When they announced that Colton was going to be the bachelor, I, I personally was disappointed. I thought you were the front runner to take it. So I suggested on this show, they should have had you versus Colton in the first episode and have the ladies choose, just like oh, we saw with we Caitlin yeah. and Britt. Would you have considered that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely would have been something I would have considered doing, absolutely. It would have been kind of difficult in this Instagram air you know the social media yeah but uh, yeah that definitely would have been something I would have considered okay Eric rolling yes. with that cheese, rolling with the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to ask you looking back now do you think it was just that it wasn't there for you in terms of the love triangle between Angela and Cassandra or was it that you were too in your own headspace well I just think it wasn't there yeah you know I was all in with you know Angela Cassandra didn't work out um, and didn't work out for me and Angela so I moved on but it was a lot it was tough but Angela's happy now. Cassandra's a, you know, awesome individual, and everybody's happy. So you're looking for love. You might find some you know in the city. I There's need, like some I cheese. A, I need a break. I need a break. You need I need a break. Like, but the cheese is still out you're there. You're rolling with the cheese. I'm rolling with the cheese, baby. Jason, you yeah. too. It was, you know, you, Blake, Garrett, down to the bottom three. Yeah. You were so invested in Becca. And, of course, we remember, you know, sharing time with family and friends and the chicken sure. wing, as we saw here. Oh, yeah. So have you introduced anybody to that place, to your family, your friends, any more chicken wing dishes? So I haven't yet. I've okay. taken a little hiatus uh, of dating, and um, I'm ready to go. So what a better place to start than Toronto tonight. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> there we go. I'm single and uh, and prove, and eligible. <laughs> prove that the formula works. These two are not available. Congratulations. Good to see you again. We've got Raven and Adam celebrating, what, is it 15 months or something like that You're together? You're getting really close. Yeah. You're just missing the hour, day, and the seconds. <laughs> 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 that would really close. Would you guys consider getting married live on the show as as some people do I don't think so we have like lived our relationship in front of everyone so yeah. I feel like exchanging our vows is something we want personal to ourselves and with our friends and family so I think no we're so happy for you guys okay we want to have fun so we've made these paddles you'll see there's emojis on either side a thumbs up or thumbs down so I'm gonna show you an image and you guys tell me whether you think they have staying power okay <laughs> we begin Stupid with stuff. mr. and mrs. goose Chris and Crystal, do they have what it takes to last? We have got. I think. Hold so. it up. I think so, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yes, yes, Around 100%. the board. Yes, yes. They okay. match each other very well. Up next, what do you guys think about Ashley and Jared? Can't believe all that happened on the beach this season. <laughs> Third time's a charm. You're saying yes? Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm really yeah, no. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Right, you guys are hoping for romantic. Right. <laughs> up next, Last I'm asking home. whether Grocery Store Joe, a.k.a. Dancing with the Stars Machine, and Kendall have everlasting power. Are they? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm oh, I got to finish I'm going against the grain here, I got to be fair. Okay. I was with them last week. Yeah, it's been a lot of time. Adorable. Yeah. It's not looking too good, though. Majority is saying uh, uh, not so much for Grocery Store Joe. All right. Up next, we have got Becca and Garrett. This is a tough one for Jason and Blake to answer, but. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, I did. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, okay. That was tough. Uh, Kevin and Astrid, Canadian Kevin. Yes. That was a big yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, now I ask you this. Colton, as the bachelor, will he find love? 
Oh, we're not too sure. <laughs> we're interested. No, and last but not least, I don't know if you heard, Pauly D said he would want to be the bachelor. Would he make a great I one? That I would want to be the Paddle pump to that. Pauly D, it could happen. Eligible Magazine's annual The Bachelor Party kicks off at 8 p.m. tonight at Cube, 314 Queen Street West. For more information, eventbrite.ca. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much for taking over the six. You guys yes, were a joy to watch. You. We wish you the best in luck and in love. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate a it. kiss to the... TV screen. Mm -hmm. ah, see them tonight. Over to you, Mel. <laughs>